maternity clipping for Lassie and Kiva. And they are both set up. They still have uh, shared access to their runs um, right now, which probably will change that tomorrow. We're going to see who likes which side better. But yeah, they're due um, just in a couple of days. So yeah, anytime, really tomorrow or anytime thereafter. So both mamas have a box, whelping pad down, some privacy up at the beds up this time for privacy in between, and that seems to be working good. Unlimited food and water and still have access to go outside to the potty, so. Oh, they are some big old mamas. Look at these big old bellies. Look at these big old bellies. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Tell me about it, Kivalu. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. I know. I know. She's a sweet girl. Lassie Lou down here eating some food. Oh, excuse you. But yep, they're doing great. And uh, come around. Come around. Come around, Givaloo. Come around. You know how to come around. Well, here, why don't you come out then? <laughs> Say, we're both fat and grumpy. Yeah, we're both fat and grumpy. They can both go back and forth, and they both still go get in each other's spots. And then you come in later and peek in the window, and they're snuggled up together asleep. So, they're precious, but anyway. Um, these babies, um, Lassie here is bred with Navy, and uh, Kiva is bred with Chance. So, that's exciting. I think they're going to have some pretty babies. And um, all puppies will be unaffected for EEA. Um, at the very worst, they could be a carrier. Um, but we DNA test all of our collies to make sure um, we don't have any problems there. And um, let's see here. Yeah, we do have a waiting list for puppies, but you know that doesn't necessarily mean that all of those people will pick out of these litters. Look at her, she's like getting protective over her space. Um, so there are definitely, um, I would say, will be puppies available. If you're interested in a puppy from either one of these sweet mamas, um, you can go to our website at libertycollies.com and fill out an application. Um, and, yeah, that comes straight to me. And, yeah, we'll get you on the waiting list. If you do get on the waiting list and you decide that um, you don't want a puppy from this litter, maybe you were wanting a girl and there are only boys left. Um, you don't like lose that deposit or, or force to pick or anything. You can um, stay on the waiting list for up to three years and pick from the next litter. And um, Chance, yes, has been a busy fellow. Yes, you have. He's a busy boy. I know. Yes, he is. <laughs> Chance um, bred Abby yesterday and then again today, so that's very exciting. So, Abby. Um, will be due theoretically two months from today if all goes well. So, um, Abby, Abby, Abbykins, there's Mabel. Abby, there's Abby, there's my deal. sweet little love bug, Abby, and then there's Millie. So, um, yeah, so surprises for everybody. <laughs> And big surprises for me, which is why we're building the nursery. All three of these girls are in heat right now. So, oh me, I told y'all it was gonna be a really, really busy season. I wasn't kidding. Um, so we will have these two litters born um, this weekend or early next week. And then Abby's um, puppies, if she does indeed conceive, would be born, let's see, today's the 30th, so. September, October, November 30th. So right around Thanksgiving. And then these other two girls are not quite ready yet. They're just coming into season. So it'll still probably be um, a few more days, maybe a week um, before they are expecting. So first um, expected to be ready to ovulate. So they would be having babies like the first of December, somewhere in there. If we decide to let everybody have puppies and if they conceive. So lots of what ifs in there. Um, yeah. So, exciting times. Um, I know, there's lots going on. It's so exciting. 
Navy's our other stud, and he is not um, excited that um, Chance has had a date the last two days with Abby, and he has had no dates. So he's a little upset about that. Um, <laughs> anyway, so sweet Kiva Lou, she's getting all nested in. Lassie, you better get your nesting, girlfriend. <laughs> um, I'll show y'all a little bit real quick if we can see here. I know it's dark. Um, but we do have, um, <laughs> there's jackpot. This is our construction site where we're building the nursery. You can see a little bit up here. So our sidewalk goes up and then we'll connect here. This old building is all going to be redone and that will be like a, a wash and grooming room. So that will have water heater, washer, dryer, um, bathtub, all that kind of stuff in there. And then this will be the indoor part of the nursery. So there's a drain right there. And uh, so yeah, the nursery will have four kennels um, there on the inside and they're gonna be um, a little more private for the mamas. That way they're not in there with all the nosy rosies <laughs> and they can have a little more quiet time. Um, so there'll be like a seven foot kennel instead of a five foot kennel on the inside. So they have a little more room. And um, then they will have a um, about a seven foot porch on the outside that's concrete and then a long run um, about the same length as these puppies run. So it goes all the way down there. Um, so we're going to be moving our chickens um, <laughs> away and stealing their um, area right out there um, for these mamas to have a run. And then on this half of this is just going to be um, kind of some comfortable space. Um, so we're going to have a futon and um, hopefully that's the plan and a TV and um, like a little mini fridge and stuff like that. Just so that, you know, I do have three kids who are young. They are um, seven, four, and one. And so um, a lot of the time it's me down here at night doing stuff um, when the kids are asleep. So that will allow me to be a little more flexible with timing and letting the kids be more involved like with um, when puppies are being born and stuff like that so um, definitely be better for us and for the kids and for the mamas so um, today is Friday it's Friday night and the contractor is supposed to be here on Monday to kind of get everything lined out and get started so that is super super exciting um, yeah, so we're, like I said, we're very excited about that, but everything out here is wild and crazy right now. Um, here's everybody's outside runs for those of you who have never seen our videos. And then they go straight out to big fenced-in play areas. The dogs don't, um, don't ever stay up unless it's like super stormy or in the winter. Sometimes I'll put them up, but yeah, their runs go all the way down there, like as far as you can see. And then the puppy run is a little smaller, but goes over to the other side of that tree and back around so it's very exciting and um yeah it's been a long time coming um a lot of planning um a ridiculous amount of uh money and investment <laughs> but it's it's definitely worth it and you know I decided a long time ago that if I couldn't do this right I wasn't going to do it at all and uh one of those uh stipulations was that the dogs were never going to stay up that they would have free access to run and play all the time and uh, yeah that's the doggy door system so heat and cool once again in here it will also be in the kennel we, uh, the puppy kennel the nursery will be heated and cooled of course um, so yeah just nice super comfy spots for everybody and um, definitely going to give us a little more room um, and yeah we're excited so I'll um, keep you guys posted and uh, for those of you who already have our puppies, of course, in the Pup Parents group, you get um, backstage pass, so y'all will know before anybody else um, when stuff starts happening. So another benefit of being on the waiting list, you um, get to join our private Facebook group, which is just for people that either have paid a, a deposit on our puppies um, who, or who own one of our collies. And they um, just kind of get extra bonus features that nobody else does and get to ask questions and share photos, ask advice keep up with litter mates and all that kind of stuff so you do um not only get a liberty collie but you get a lifetime of love and support and the liberty family too so that's super exciting um but yeah so i think that's about it here's me by the way i'm like crazy haired thanks to lassie um but we are um super excited for them and 
please just pray for them and pray for me over the next um, several days as we do go into uh, whelping season. That everything goes good and that these mamas um, deliver easily. They've never had any trouble, so we're not anticipating any problems, but we always want prayers for our babies. So, um, I guess that's about it. I'm going to, um, hopefully, and uh, get, I've got the camera, or baby monitor camera hooked back up again over here. I think I'm fixing to move it to that window, but... Um, anyway, so I can keep a check on them even during the night. Um, and yeah, we're just super excited and can't wait to welcome some more of you to the Liberty family. And yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, one more thing I was going to tell you. So these puppies that are fixing to be born, their due date is the 4th. Um, but any time between the 1st and the 4th is fine for their due date. Um, so they would be ready, um like the first week of December to go home right about the time some of these other puppies would be being born. So um, these would be definitely, um, you know, some Christmas surprise puppies. Um, but please always note a Christmas puppy is fun, but it's a lifelong commitment. So um, don't ever expect to get a puppy and it be fun for Christmas and easy. You know, puppies are a lot of work and a lot of trouble. Um, and can be frustrating, but they're definitely a lifelong blessing and, um, you know, a good 15-year commitment, um, you know, for your future and your family's future and for their future. So, please just keep that in mind as always. And, um, oh yeah, one more thing. Our puppies, we do potty training with them starting at about three to four weeks of age. And so... Most of our puppies are, I'll say, 90% potty trained when they go home um, to a doggy door. So that's it's super exciting. We do litter box training, and then I move the litter box closer to the door and then out the door. And so usually by the time they're eight weeks old, they will go um, outside. I mean, here they'll go outside 99.9% .9 of the time. They don't have any accidents inside at all here um, unless it's some super weird occasion. Um, so at home, you can expect to, um, you know, use that same kind of practice and have very, very little or no accidents um, for most of our new puppies. Look at her nesting. You want some stuff to nest, Bill? Do you want some stuff to nest? Yeah, we can get you some stuff to nest. Yeah. Come here. That's all we got up here. Bunch. bunch of puppy supplies. You want some blankies? They really do like um, having some nesting materials. So, start putting some blankies in here. And that really just kind of makes them feel safe and feel like they do have their little nest made. And they'll drag these around and lick them and snuggle them. <laughs> there you go, Lassie. There, there you go, my darling girl. She's a sweet girl. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to get over here and um, get over there. give Kiva some nesting supplies. Stay Lassie. 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 Stay baby. Stay baby. I know. I know. It's a lot going on in it. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So give Kiva Lou a few of these to nest with. And that's the end of my evening. I'm going to go get changed and get a shower and get in the bed because I have a feeling it won't be long till we'll be having some 12 to 18 hour puppy delivering nights. So I hope you are having a great weekend. And once again, please keep these mamas in your prayers. And yeah, I'll update you when we have some exciting news.